Hi, I'm Richard Aselta, and I'm a defense attorney for students. You received a notification from your university that there's been some concern about an academic integrity or conduct violation. So what should you do? Well, the first thing you want to do is review the email or letter that you received and make sure you calendar whatever dates are in that letter. Usually that's the date for this initial meeting. You do not want to miss that meeting. If you miss the meeting and fail to respond, the university can put a hold on your account and you won't be able to register for classes. So it's very important. Make sure you calendar that meeting date. Second, what should you do? You need to review your university or college's handbook. You need to go through the policies and procedures and familiarize yourself with them, especially the part about this meeting. You want to understand what it's about. What are you going to be discussing? What options are they going to give you during this meeting? Don't rely on the university to tell you this. You need to do your own homework, and normally it's laid out for you in your school's handbook. Third, you want to make sure that when you go to this meeting, you're as prepared as possible. Now, again, this depends on whatever the type of meeting it is. There are some universities where this is just really a formality. And the only choices you have are lead responsible or not responsible, and that's it. Some meetings, however, are more of a fact-finding meeting where the university is, one, is going to ask you questions. They want to get your perspective on things. That is something that you want to be prepared for because, again, that's going to set the tone for how you can continue in this case. You don't want to walk into that meeting and say one thing and then have to go to a hearing and now say something completely opposite. That's not the position you want to be in. Most universities, especially public universities, allow students to have with them during this initial meeting an advisor. What's an advisor? Well, an advisor is somebody like me, somebody that is an attorney, can be an attorney, but doesn't have to be. And we can help you with those meetings. I've helped many, many, many students prepare for these meetings. If you find yourself in this position, please give me a call, send me an email. We can talk about your case and see if it's something that I can help you with. Thank you very much.